Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Homeopathy World. I am Dr. Samina and in today's lecture we are going to discuss about the Homeopathy Central Council Act 1973. This particular video is a part of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology series. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click on the subscribe button and push the bell icon to get the notification on our latest updates. So without further ado, let's get started with the lecture. Homeopathy Central Council Act 1973 is an act to provide for the constitution of Central Council of Homeopathy and maintenance of the Central Register of Homeopathy and the matters connected with it. So this particular act, Homeopathy Central Council Act 1973, was amended as Homeopathy Central Council Amendment Act 2002. It was an act number 51 of 2002 and published in Gazette of India on 9th December 2002. So this particular act was amended again in 2002. Now let's see the title, extent and commencement of this act. This act may be called as the Homeopathy Central Council Act 1973. It extends to whole India and it shall come into force in state on the date when central government notifies the official gazette. It may be at different dates in different states. Now further, let's see the definitions in this act. Some important definitions in this act are board. Board means council or examining body of faculty of homeopathy constituted by central or state government under any law awarding registration of practitioners in homeopathy. Central council means central council of homeopathy. Central register of homeopathy is the register maintained by the central council. And medical institution means any institution within India which grants degree, diploma or licenses in homeopathy. Constitution of Central Council Central government officially notifies the Gazette the purpose of the Act and it constitutes The number of members should not exceed 5 and is determined by the central government in accordance with Schedule 1 from each state. Names among the state register to be elected among themselves by person enrolled as homeopathic practitioners. Now one member will be elected from each university from amongst themselves by the members of the faculty or department of homeopathy of the university. Such members to be elected by the central government should not be more than seven. The president and the vice president of CCH shall be elected by the members of the CCH from among themselves. So these seven members will elect the president and vice president of the CCH. And provided that the first two years of the CCH, the president and vice president should be elected by the central government and will have a tenure according to the pleasure of the central government. What is the mode of election? Elections should be conducted by central government and if there is any dispute that arises between the two parties or two competing members, the decision of the central government will be final. What are the restrictions on election and membership? So no person is eligible for election to CCH unless he possesses any medical qualification included in second and third schedule in the state register of homeopathy and no person may at the same time serve as a member in more than one capacity. So what is the term of office president, vice president and members of the central council? So they hold a term of five years from the date of election or nomination. A person who holds office as president or vice president of CCH shall be eligible for re-election to that office but only once. Member of CCH shall be eligible for re-election and re-nomination. Casual vacancy in CCH shall be filled by election or nomination only till the term remaining of the member at whose place he was elected. So if there is a vacancy and another member is going to fill his place, that place will be filled 
only till the previous member who was absent his term is fulfilled elected or nominated member shall be deemed to be have vacated his seat if he is absent without any excuse for three consecutive meetings or in case the elected member ceased to be enrolled in the state register or ceased to exist as a member of faculty of homeopathy where the set term of 5 years is about to expire in respect to any member then a successor may be elected or nominated any time within 3 months before the set term is expired but that successor should not assume the office or should not assume his duties until the set term of the previous member has expired so that was all about the homeopathy central council act 1973 if you have any doubts regarding this act please comment in the comment section below also if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please click on that subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you get the notification on our latest updates thank you for watching this video